Hi everyone, George here, and before I get started, the common disclaimer. Uh, this is not meant to be taken as tax advice. I'm neither an accountant or a CPA, and um, maybe that's two of the same thing. In any case, um, it's not tax advice, it's instructional uh, purposes only, and uh, what I'd like to show you today is the DT Max T1 uh, tax product for professionals. Um, so, as opposed to UFAL, this, uh, the price of this program is in the thousands as opposed to the tens. And uh, it allows uh, professional accountants to do tax returns quickly and accurately. Um, so let me show you how to do a, a client quickly here. And uh, you just add a client. I use a numbering convention. So over here I'm going to assign a, a client number, 1020, to this new client completely fictitious okay I'm a more experienced user so I don't need this smart start client profile uh, screen so I'm going to just turn that off and um, how this program works essentially is with keywords so what keywords are are the codes that uh, you need to enter data for any given information slip or form uh, it's very different from the traditional uh, tax uh, preparation program that is on a form by form, form basis and what um, the strength is with respect to this program is that since it's not form based um, with the keyword system we uh, we, uh, we can update the program more quickly and um, each keyword is attributed to a form or a slip or a particular concept in tax so um, the keywords that are presented right off the bat are permanent data. So let's go ahead and uh, do a, a fictitious return rather quickly, and then I want to show you a couple of the advanced features, okay? So last name, let's say the last name of this uh, person is, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Cahill, all right, there. And the first name is Fred. Okay, uh, fictitious social insurance number that is valid. Okay, if the, the number is not valid, there is an algorithm that notifies you that it's not seen. Okay, so here we go. There, enter our date of birth and status single. And this question is required, I suppose, and a resident of Ontario, let's go jump onto street, everything's pretty straightforward up to here, right, city, Ontario, and um, postal code, All right, so this is the basic information. Now, let's say he has a T4. What do we do? Add the keyword. What do you think the uh, jump code is for a T4 compensation slip? Just type T4. Shortcut. There you go. It works for a numbered company. Okay, we're just going to put one, one, and 2,000 here, and 4,000 there for pension adjustment. And we're gonna put $5,100 of tax deducted source. Uh, here are my EI earnings and my CPP earnings. Notice I put $1 here. Well, here we got some um, diagnostics that tell me, look, I understated the amount. Double click there, 2325. And 755. There you go. What's the next one? All right, we did. Let's say we already have an authorization on file, and it expires in 2026. There you go. Um, that should be enough for me to produce a tax return. And when I go to Tools to Calculate, you have a federal and Ontario tax return. So on page eight, you will have the Ontario tax right there right here.
Federal Ontario combined. And boom, this person owes uh, $937. Let's say he was smart enough to invest in an RSP. Uh, so again, what do you think the keyword would be to enter RSP? You know, just type RSP. And let's start with the Roman limit. Let's say he had a limit of $37,800 based on his prior year income. And let's go ahead again and uh, enter his actual RSP contributions. For 60 days of 2021. Okay. Let's put uh, 15,000. Who's recalculate? Now he's getting back a, a sizable refund. Now let's say he, this particular client, had investment income um, in the forms of capital gains, and he bought and sold. Uh, he accumulated over time some Bell shares and sold in at least two transactions the same security. So in this case, you have to do the average cost. Of um, the average cost of, uh, of of the bell shares, what do you do? Um, do you not worry about it and do the AFR download and just enter the amounts? Well, I have news for you, folks. With AFR, if this person uh, did the two transactions but previously accumulated shares over time, the amounts being reported in terms of ACB. Are not correct. You should do, be doing the uh, math behind it and reporting the true capital gains of the taxpayer. So we have a little tool here under Tools, Advanced Utilities, okay, and we call it DT Toolkit. So basically, what this component of the program does is it takes advantage of one of the advanced features in DT Max, which is an SDK, and SDK is short for Software Development Kit. Um, this is not confined only to this tool. You can customize it and make your own um, uh, templates for either client letters or uh, even uh, other applications. Um, you need some technical knowledge, and to be quite honest with you, I had the assistance of a technical colleague to set this up for me. So right now I'm logged out, but I want to log in. There you go. I am in the 2020 T1 uh, year English G11. My SDK password is there. And this is my database. Now I'm going to put my personal password in there. And once I'm logged in, I'm logged in. Now, here's where we, cal we calculate single dispositions, buy and sell. And all the data is stored internally in DTMAX. And this is where we would do the adjusted cost base of, of uh, similar securities. This is uh, T-bills, the calculation of T-bills uh, that are sold prior to maturity or other temperatures, and uh, medical expenses to reconcile the best 12-month period in the year. I'll just show you this example. And the other thing that I want to show you is how to edit the client letter in Word. So let's start here and put uh, Bell Canada. Let's add it. There we go. <laughs> Bell Canada. And enter. Cancel. Let's go there. Oh, maybe I add, uh, I canceled it by error. Let's see, Bell Canada. And then click on Add. There we go. Ah, oh, my mistake. All right, let's go to record the first acquisition. I'm just clicking here. And let's say 11th of zero, oops. Uh, let's just do that to be on the safe side. And this first acquisition happened in 2018. Number of shares, 500. Cost per share was, uh, let's say, uh, $37. There's your total cost. I want to add 
a uh, another transaction. So let's put in there uh, another sum of, uh, let's say, 1,500. And that happened on the 24th of uh, August 2019. Okay, that was another purchase by another 1,500. At uh, forty-two dollars, yep, forty-two dollars, and it's calculating the total cost so far. Now let's go ahead and enter another transaction. Right-click, insert, and let's say the transaction took place on the 9th of October, twenty nineteen, as well. And that's another buy of uh, seven hundred and fifty shares at uh, $45 and let's just say insert uh, now we have a disposition in 2020 so in 2020 15th of March 2020 we have a sell of let's say we didn't dispose of the sh all the shares. We just uh, thought that uh, we could dispose of 400 shares. Okay, at $51, take some profit off the table, right? Um, so 400. Forgive me. It's about uh, so 400 times 52. 20,800, put in the 20,800 there. Let's say uh, the expenses are $120 in commission. So we have a capital gain here of 3,900. Let's calculate the closing balance. Next year, we should be able to carry forward this data and continue uh, this calculation as the taxpayer uh, acquires and disposes of more similar securities bell canada shares now um, let's um close mr cahill's uh file and mr cahill is there 2020 let's go back to uh, this item here and basically what we'll, what we want to do is after we've done our work is insert it into the client's file search and 20 is the client number Let's find him. Here he is. Double click. Okay. We found him here. And now, now we need to. Um, Let's save. And let's just save it to our desktop for now. Okay, uh, now we need to import it. Export to DTMAX. There you go. Bell Canada. Export. The data has been exported successfully. Let's close this. Now I know for a fact that we have to click on another client and then just go in here and here's my capital gains transaction completely imported into DTMAX after I've done my work on the worksheet. Now let's recalculate the return. Tools, recalculate and as you can see Schedule 3 has appeared right here. Here's my capital gains. My taxable capital gains is half of the total capital gains, right? And DTMAX also creates a letter, a client letter here, which is in ordinary form. I didn't have my, my personal uh, uh, preferences indicated here, so it, it, my address is blank, but as you can see, it's addressed to my client. And if I see something here that I would like to change or or
write a, another paragraph, I can export the client letter in rich text format to a word processor. Uh, your default uh, word processor, let's say it's Word. Other programs have a built-in word processor, but why reinvent the wheel? Uh, when you can export into Word, you can modify it, right? Save it, and um, that's all she wrote. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the professional product product that I uh, work with that at work during my day job, and uh, I highly recommend it. I will probably put a link below to. Uh, where you can get a trial version of it if you like uh, and if you have any questions feel free to to ask in the comments below and like and subscribe if you uh, care to do so and uh, thank you so much for supporting the channel take care